Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. Uh, uh, for all trade, we use the 5% money management rules. And apply stop loss uh, in all trade. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. Very, very important. I'm waiting for my order to be filled here. Okay. At 9007. Selling uh, USD. Okay. CHF. The dollar Swiss franc currency pair. This is a limit order placed at 9007 to sell okay, the dollar Swiss franc currency pair. Very often, a lot of traders, when they want to sell, that's what myself I was doing before, you will, very often, traders will sell with market order. So you see that you want to sell. Sometimes it's better to use the limit order so you place your order below somewhere here and you say, okay, if it's going to go down because you want to sell it here, Sometimes if you sell like this, the price will continue to go up and take you out. So you may decide to put it below and say, okay, if it's going down, I want to sell. But I want to sell when it starts going down, okay? So I place my order here. This is a resistance zone also. And uh, I want to sell it at 9007. You can see that the price up here. If it come down here, then my order will be filled, okay? The title of this video is uh, How to Day Trade on the edge all right trading on the edge allow day traders okay to focus on high probability trade setup if you want to know more about uh, trading on the edge or trading edge all right go to www.stochastic-macd.com and uh, remember to subscribe to our channel look in the sidebar and uh, subscribe to um, our YouTube channel and also to our website okay you can subscribe to our website and you will be number one to watch uh, our videos all right so what's happening ladies and gentlemen so this weekend we recorded a video about uh, how to uh, trade uh, the dollar uh, Swiss franc and my line is still here on the chart so we have this uh, bullish market pattern. There are three market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel. And I was telling today that uh, if uh, to give priority to sell signal, but for the medium term, for the short term, it's a little bit bullish, provide and until, okay, the price found a resistance on the edge here. So my line is still here. So yesterday, you can see here, okay, the price finally, okay, touch it here or right, I touch it here finally touch it okay right here all right so prior to touch it here okay finally it test is here so we will look for opportunity to sell okay but this is what we are saying this is the setup so as soon as it did below the trend line and then we test it on the edge. So trading on the edge, okay, as I said to you, it's one example here, break below, retest. This type of trade are very often high probability trade, and also the beauty of, uh, or the gorgeousness, all right, if you allow me to say that, all right, the gorgeousness of this trade is that it's a low risk entry point. So you don't have to risk too much pips before you get paid. And if you're going to lose, you lose very small, which is nice. You don't want to lose big. Losing trade do happen. But if you want to lose, you want to lose small. And by trading on the edge of a trend line, of a channel, okay, you are, okay, selecting a low risk entry point and also a high probability trade setup. But, 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 all right? I'm not trying to piss you off, so to speak, but I'm trying to get your attention. We must follow the trading drill, okay? So trading on the edge, surprise break below the rising channel and we test it on the edge, right here. All right? So this is a setup, all right? It's a setup. Now, I don't want to go through all the, 
the analysis again because we have recorded a video already when we talk about uh, how to train the the dollar Swiss franc. So uh, we talk about uh, the, the weekly chart, the monthly chart, everything else that we need to pay attention to. So I will not go back again and validate this setup because it's already done in the previous video. So that's what I say to you. I say to traders to give priority to sell signal, okay, provided that the price fund, okay, the resistance on the edge here. So what's happening now? Let's go to the crowded five minute chart. Oh, my order is filled. Down, you see here. Order oh, fills at 9007. So I'm in this trade now. I will use only. Uh, for this uh, pair, it's quite volatile. I will use 35 pips instead of 30 pips, which I use very often for the Euro USD. I will use 35 pips, okay? So bringing me a 9042, okay? 9042 is somewhere, uh, wow, in somewhere up here, somewhere. Just remember it, okay? It's not visible on the 5 minute chart. I may go to the 15 minute chart and I will show you. Okay, it's not even, even here. Go to the 30 minute chart. That's it. Okay, 9 0. That's what we are looking for. That's my stop loss. 35 pip, 35, okay? quite huge sometimes I do that sometimes I use 10 pips but because this pair is quite volatile okay give me enough room because I, I want to be a little bit greedy so my order is filled you see how I, I get into the trade but you have to remember that everything started from the four hour chart price out of a, a rising channel what is the meaning of that it's telling that the bullish momentum is diminishing all right okay great now it's very important that the price retest this uh, trend line because it will give us confidence to see whether this this uh, line okay normally which was supporting the price when the price was going up is now converted into a resistance zone that's what we want to see so how do we know that okay if it's converted into a resistance zone and a bearish momentum is diminishing the price will start again displaying lower lows, lower high. At least from the one minute chart, two minute chart, going to the three minute chart, to the five minute chart, we should start seeing that. We can also see, okay, bearish chart pattern on the edge of uh, this uh, uh, trend line, okay? So let's go back again to the five minute chart. Oh, it's working beautifully now. You see it's running fast. <laughs> so you have to understand what is going on in this uh, messy market, okay? So yesterday, all right, around um, uh, 12, okay, 12 p.m. London time, uh, the, the price already tested the trend line that we drawn on the four-hour chart. This is yesterday, okay? So you, you see here, it retested nicely, boom. Some traders sold it straight away. All right, they sold it straight away. It's no bad decision, but uh, they, if they use 30, 30, 30 pips, they should still be in this trade if they enter here. So it's not too bad. They should stay. So they will stay in, they will stay in the trade during the Asia session, which is a bit tricky. <laughs> All right? It's a bit tricky. Um, in this scenario, it's better for traders when you sell it at this. And London is about to close. Just go. Go away from it. Don't leave it around during the Asia session. Because why? A new market will open in the next day here. London did open today here. Okay, I can place a vertical line there. London did open here today at 3 a.m. That's 8 a.m. London time, 3 a.m. Eastern time. That's uh, the time when London did open today. And you can bet on it very often that if they want to sell after London open, they will bring the price up. If they want to buy after London open, very often they will bring the price down unless the price is already at the best place. The, the small money does not sell or buy anyhow so since this morning the price was here if you sell it here that's very bad that's very bad okay that's very bad because it's when it went down too far okay and then london did open here 
if you sell it here, that's very bad. Or it's very risky, okay? Well, look at the way it's running fast, okay? It's beautiful, isn't it? So this was happening at a conversion point. So uh, there's something else I want to show you here. Always keep your eyes open. All right, so there was this low, okay? And there was uh, this uh, lower low. The lowest low is this point, yes or no? All right? And then we have uh, a low here, and then we have another uh, low here. We have uh, what we call, okay, an inverted head and shoulder, yes or no? Okay? Or we may also say that we have a round bottom, okay, if you agree. So if you call it round bottom because the prime went down all the way here and then return back to the starting point. So if we use uh, the the measuring stick for the round bottom, round or inverted hand and shoulder, what you call it, we put it here. After the breakout here, that's why the prime went to the target zone. All right. So always remember what I said to you. Some traders are very greedy, and uh, they use the maximum target. So. This is my conservative. The first one was my first conservative measurement. Some trader will be very greedy, you see. They will bring it all the way up here and say that the price must go to this point. Uh, so they will go like this and put it up somewhere here. See, the price almost achieved their target. We want to go into their mind. It's very important for us to know. So the bottom line is that if I use my conservative measurement, here it is. It's not too bad. They went above it a little bit. So we can say that the price at the conversion point. Now, if you were trading a stock, we can use the volume bar to confirm that we have a surge in trading activity, checking the volume bar. The volume bar is an excellent tool to, con to, to confirm a conversion point. If you want to know more about conversion trading or conversion signal, the best place, www.stochasticmatic.com. All right? Subscribe to our website, okay? All right? Here it is. So this is a conversion point. So at a conversion point, if the price was going up before reaching a conversion point, what usually takes place is that the bull that we're buying before, so the bull that we're buying in this session all the way up here, knew that the price at a, at a target point, they will have to sell to close their bullish trade. So they are selling. The bull will sell, okay? Can you imagine bull selling? Yes, the bull do sell. They are selling at conversion point at a target price to take profit, okay? So they are selling. So because the bear want to sell, they don't want to sell when the bulls are buying. They are selling. They want to sell together with the bulls. So I they see the bull selling here, all right? They know that the bull are selling, all right? They know. That's why myself I sold it here. Okay, we know that they, they are selling. They have to take profit. They have to. Okay, so we're selling together. So the bull are selling, and we, the bear, we're selling also. So we provide. Well, that's why very often if you are trading stock and you have a volume bar, you will see a surge in trading volume. Another thing I need to say to those who are trading stocks or commodities is that when we see a surge in trading volume, don't get too excited and go and sell. Sometime, okay, sometime. You will have some time, a surge in trading volume here at the conversion point, but, remember, but, if there is a better resistance up here, the price will slowly, you see, go to the best place. Remember what the small money is doing all the time? The small money will sell at the best place. They will never sell just for the signal to sell. Once they know that they should sell, they will say, okay, where is the best place to sell? And the price will go there, that's why they will sell. Why very often the price goes to the best place to sell? It's because of what we call the market stable data. If, for instance, this is something those who are trading stock should understand. If there are orders, especially those who are trading stock, okay, placed here to, 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 to sell. Many orders placed here, packed here, packed here, okay, especially if you are trading stock, remember that. If you know where are the orders, and the price is here, the, it's a market stable data. These orders must be filled slowly but surely. <laughs> if there, there are too many orders, okay, 
market makers need, need to get paid. And these market makers will get paid if orders are filled. So the price will go here and fill these orders first and before coming down. But this is one thing a lot of ordinary traders do not understand what's going on in this messy market. All right? And they get into trouble. So though we see a convergence point, doesn't mean that sell straight away. Look carefully. Do we have a better resistance somewhere here? This is what we have noticed for Apple stock yesterday. The price was at a conversion point, but there was a better resistance up there. And the price continued to go up. So remember, if we see a surge in trading volume, if you are trading stock or commodity, check if we have a better resistance up here. If there, are, there is a better resistance, be very, very cautious, okay? But today, because we are on the edge, remember this video is about how to day trade on the edge. We are on the edge of a rising channel that we have drawn on the 4-hour chart. I will refer traders back to the video that we call how to trade the dollar Swiss from, okay, at George Rio channel. All right? YouTube, okay, on YouTube, all right? So that's why I don't want to go through... Uh, the trading drill so this is a setup then we will validate the setup and then wait for signal okay low risk entry point by trading on the edge if a setup happened on the edge all right you don't have to worry too much about a low risk entry point because we are on the edge at a low risk entry point on the edge now we need to see the signal but at the time when we are about to enter the trade this one thing you have to understand if you are day trader at the time when you are about to enter your day trend, the short-term trend, the short-term trend must be, okay, bearish if you are selling, if you are a day trader and you want to buy. At the time when you are about to place the trend, the short-term trend must be, okay, bullish, all right? Because you, is one thing that bothers day trader is that you enter a day trend, and the price doing something the opposite of what you were planning. So you were suppose here I was a uh, border So okay, so you enter a trade, you sell like I sell now. Suppose the price going up, it border us because sometimes you are you are forced to move your stop or to close the trade early. That's why it's so important for a day trader to pay attention to the short term trend and especially to trade on the edge. All right. At a low risk enter point. If you want to improve your day trading, look for convergence signals, <laughs> all right, and work with for patterns, target points. Okay, you'll see this all the time. V pattern prior return all the time, and then boom, they're running fast. You see, all the time they're running fast. Phew. But do not stack on a lower time frame doing this kind of thing. Use the trading drill from the higher time frame. Okay, to the signal time frame down to the low risk entry point. So this is the purpose of this video to show traders, okay, how to day trade on the edge. So I know that the price on the edge of uh, this trade line is a resistance zone. All right, I've done all my verification. Okay, now this morning, as London did open at 3 a.m. here. Because of my experience, I know that if they want to sell, the price will go up first, at least. They, they, they don't sell when it's going down like this, okay? So the market did open here, but it opened at the wrong place, okay? So this movement is normal, <laughs> all right? Now it's, it, we can sell here, okay? It's not too bad, okay? Doesn't mean that this, this trade will perfectly work. If it works, beautiful, okay? If it doesn't work, Okay, we move on. Okay, we move on. That's simple. We move on. Don't get emotional about it if you have a, a losing trade. If you have done all the verifications, okay, you follow the step, you are not fighting the market, okay, you do everything right, and you have a losing trade, you just go back and review the trade and see what went wrong. Okay, have I missed any important economy news? Okay, go to Forex Factory, check the economy news. If you are trading stock, check the, the news relating to the stock that you are trading on Google Finance or Yahoo Finance and know what's happening, okay? Have I, okay, violated the trading drill? Is any, if you are trading stock, you pay attention to the market leaders. All right. One second, please. Uh, moment, please. 37. How to pause this video. I'll be back soon. Okay, traders, uh, what's happening here? Uh, so, 
I post the video uh, somewhere here. So, so far, okay, as you know, we enter the trade here. And our stop loss is uh, up here at 9042. And uh, it's still working nicely. So it's a bit slow right now. So what I will do is uh, to pause the video. And uh, we will come back to it. Uh, but before we go, uh, the time in London is 10.44. And now 10.45 a.m. Uh, London time. Uh, 5.45 a.m. Eastern time. On 11 of June, okay, 2014, okay. So pausing the video, and uh, we will come back to it because it's pointless uh, to uh, keep it like this, and uh, the video is too long. So you know my entry point, also my my uh, stop loss, and uh, as always, when we enter a train, okay, we must set uh, a a target. And uh, the second part of this video, I will show you where is my target, okay. How much, I'm, how much I'm willing to take out of this trade um, in normal condition I will see uh, because if the price going down with the price looking for a better support level so Okay, maybe somewhere here. So when we come back, I will let you know. All right. So speak to you in a few minutes. So pause in the video uh, so that the video is not too long. Uh, go to the three minute chart. Okay, leave it on the three minute chart like this. And uh, so I'll speak to you soon. All right, traders. Uh, what's happening here? Okay, so we pause the video here. And uh, the price uh, went back up to retest my entry point. Uh, my stop loss is at uh, nine zero, okay four two. And after that, after retesting my entry point, just went blah 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 blah, and now it's coming down, uh, which is nice. Okay. If we go to the because the time of the day now is uh, twenty four minutes past uh, twelve. Uh, a p.m. Uh, in London, that's 7.24 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we are now in the gap period, okay? So, uh, up to the time uh, New York will open, we are still in a gap period. This is not the best time for day trading. But, uh, I, I will let it run, I will let it run. Uh, I want to take more profit out of this, so okay. Um, I'll, I'll set my target at uh, 8957, okay, 8957. So I'm going to put another line there. Uh, set a limit order to be taken also. Uh, Nine fifty seven. Okay. It should go down more than that, but uh, we don't want to be too greedy. So, so bringing it down to this, uh, you see this double bottom here. Okay, this double bottom prepare the price up. So we will take profit exactly there. That, there, when the price reaches that level. Okay, our entry point uh, is a nine zero zero seven stop loss nine zero four two uh, exit at uh, eight nine fifty seven. Not bad, isn't it? So as I explained to you, trading on the edge uh, will offer a day trader or a swing trader a low risk entry point, and also a high probability trade setup okay so this is a high probability trade setup because on the four hour chart the price is out of a rising channel telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing and now the edge all right the edge of uh, the rising channel is now okay suppressing the price meaning that it become a resistance level okay 
And if you receive a sell signal here, or we see a bearish chart pattern, okay, we can sell. That's what I, I did this morning. All right, but a lot of traders uh, can get into trouble because if, as I show you in a video that I call uh, how to trade the dollar Swiss front, we went through the okay yearly chart, monthly chart, weekly chart, and I was telling you that we must give priority to sell signal, especially from the monthly chart, and I draw some blue uh, trend line. Yeah, they are still here. Okay, see the trend line. Join this point and this point. Okay, we are still uh, have too many lines on the monthly chart now. My apology to traders. Okay, we are still below the bearish trend line. Though you see this trend line here, we are above it. We are still below this. Uh, the trend line is given to us. Okay, the market sentiment. Okay, so the long term um, uh, market sentiment is bearish. Though in the short term it went up a bit, but is quickly if the long term okay market sentiment is bearish and okay we see the price coming out of a bearish channel and retesting it all right we will look for opportunity to sell because the long term market sentiment is bearish and we see now the price rise up a bit and then now it's out of it and the retest is becoming a resistance we will sell because we don't want to fight okay the market okay the market pattern so that's it yeah that's what we are doing here this is what I, I'm trying to tell traders all the time. The setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. Sometimes we may receive a signal, the setup may be excellent, but if the, the entry point is a bit tricky for us, we may decide to stay out. Okay. So we see all the time traders will purchase the TSW24. Okay, they say uh, it's a very simple trading system. All right. Yes. The advantage of the TSC 24 is that it does not fight the market, and we want to follow the trading drill, okay? The setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. Pay attention to the convergence signals. As a day trader, you want to pay attention to convergence signal. Even if as a swing trader, you need to pay attention to convergence signal, as I explained to you in this video. I've been talking to you now nearly 27 minutes, okay? Um, Okay, we can let it run more. Okay, let it run more. And I will see whether it's going to come to my, uh, where's my green line? My green line is here. Okay, so I let it run. So I'll pause it again. So before I pause it, I'll go to the three minute chart. By the way, this uh, video is not a public show. <laughs> As I like to put it, traders. Okay, it's not to show traders. I can trade. No, no, no. The point is to show traders how to day trade or how to trade, all right? And the message is very simple. Don't fight the market. Follow the, 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 the market patterns. Do not violate the market pattern. Use the trading trade. Do not use the single time frame. When you're about to enter the trade, okay, check the risk reward ratio. Is it worthy entering this trade? You are the decision maker. If the risk is too high, you may decide to stay out. Sometimes you may notice from this beginning that there's no value set up. Just walk away. So if sometimes some traders trade only one financial instrument, so they trade the same stock all the time, or they trade the same currency all the time, and some days these traders want to trade, but there is no value set up, and they end up giving their money away. Don't, don't do that, okay? Don't do it. If you trade only one financial instrument, which means you have only one choice, you are not going to have okay, excellent setup every single day. You need to pay attention to the, okay, the market patterns and drop it down from the higher time frame to the lower time frame. Now, if you trade many financial instruments, okay, that's great. You can scan for stocks. You can prepare yourself, have your bullish watch list, your bearish watch list, and okay, you don't want to trade against the market and the market leaders if you are trading stocks, and you select the best okay setup, okay, the one that is give, giving you okay a higher probability of success. That's what we want to do. So as you can see here on this trade chart, we see this uh, inverted hand and shoulder, or you can call it round bottom here. 
and the prior one with tackles on is a convergent point, okay? But not only a, a normal convergent point, convergent point on the edge. This video is about how to trade on the edge, all right? Today, trade on the edge, you see here. So it was on the edge, the convergent point on the edge, okay? Giving us, uh, okay, so what I've done, I use the market. Uh, this was the first resistance, so you can say, say that uh, this was the high before the latest high here. This was the resistance, so the price break above it, okay, and now it's coming back below it, okay. So I sold it here, here, right here, I sold it here, using a stop loss that is above, okay, uh, this trailer here, 35 pips, okay. It's not bad, isn't it? It's not bad. So it's working now, so we will pause it now, and... Uh, Pause the video, okay. And as always, we show the time of the day. The time in London is uh, 12:33 in New York, 7:33 a.m. in New York on the 11th of June, 2014. Uh, we pause the video again, and we'll come back to it to see whether the price will go down more or not. Uh, as you can see, the price goes down. Nothing is stopping me now. One thing before I pause the video, I can move my stop loss a little bit, okay, to minimize. Uh, my uh, risk so you know that I use 35 pip for my stop loss because the price went down a little bit where is that red line looking for it uh, yeah the, you see my stop loss here nothing can stop me to move it down a little bit which means I'm reducing okay my uh, risk now if I move I can move it down because the price went down a bit I can move it down my stop loss reduce my stop loss a little bit which means i'm minimizing my risk all right so i will speak to you soon pausing the video again and we'll come back to it soon all right let's continue our recording um, day trading um, the dollar swiss franc currency pair uh, this video is about uh, how to day trade on the edge all right so we stop the video here we pause the video here where i place my uh, vertical uh, uh, turquoise line and uh, since then you can see that the price uh, went back up a bit okay so the lowest point was around uh, 8981 now it's up uh, at uh, 8992 okay not too bad what i'm going to do now i'm going to bring you to the 30 minute chart a very friendly time frame all right 30 minute chart and uh, what i'm going to use now pay attention i'm going to use okay the pitchfork tool all right if you want to know more about uh, the pitchfork tool you need to go to www.dprotraders.com okay we have a uh, three website okay the first one is uh, stochastic magd.com the second one is uh, 24 elliot waves.com and the third one is a uh, day pro traders.com so if you want to know more about pitchfork tool you can see that the drawing three point we need to use the pitchfork tool the first one this point here okay uh, the second point is there and this is the third point the pitchfork tool okay, allow trader to see okay uh, to identify so either edge so you see the media line of the pitchfork tool the price approaching the edge of the pitchfork tool here and uh, this will give us another chance to sell again uh, pay attention carefully okay some traders are selling here you see this support here see the horizontal line that I'm drawing now this one okay the price D below that support and retesting it but uh, a better place to look for opportunity to sell again is the edge of the pitchfork tool all right see now you can sell on the edge of this pitchfork tool if you pay attention the pitchfork tool is a channel you can see it's a declining channel and as you can see there was a support which i highlighted now the price d below it and now it's retesting it but not only retesting this uh, support level it's also retesting the edge of uh, this pitchfork tool if you want to reload this uh, okay <laughs> train we can look for opportunity to sell again right here all right <laughs> okay 
It makes sense? It is also powerful. So if the price goes above this uh, okay, media line, then I may decide to be very, very careful because okay, that will put a question mark on my uh, bearish trade. Okay? But so far, I can let it run at like this. As I told you, one thing one can do is to move the stop loss uh, to minimize uh, the risk that we are taking. All right, it makes sense? Okay, I will leave uh, my uh, piece for crude there. As I explained to trainers, this video is for educational purposes only. All right, very, very important, okay? You want to build your trading skill, okay? All right, your own trading style, okay? So you can make excellent decisions. And there are things that we work with, the trading triangle, the trading tr uh, drill, okay? These are the things that we are working with, the market patterns, okay? Don't go around learning every trading strategy in the world, but any strategy that you have learned, you must use them together with the trading triangle, the trading drill, and the market pattern, all right? But if you go around buying trading system or learning different strategy, but you are constantly violating the trading triangle, the trading drill, all right, and the market pattern, okay, it's not going to be useful or helpful to you, okay? So we can look for opportunity to sell again on the edge here using the pitchfork tool, okay? Going back again to the three minute chart, what we will do, so we can sell it again here. So I'll place my vertical line there. I'll leave my pitchfork tool on the chart. And uh, we will pause the video again because uh, right now, this is the gap period waiting for New York to open. Uh, one thing before I pause the video, we go to uh, Forest Factory, okay, to check some economy news, very important. Though we use our technical indicators, okay, the price, the number one indicator, and uh, we must combine the technical analysis with uh, the fundamentals going to Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, and, okay, for forest trading, forest factory. So Wednesday, all right, what are we looking for? How to day trade on Wednesdays? Have you watched that video? Shock check uh, George Trio channel and subscribe to our George Trio channel, okay? All right? We are looking for what? The crude oil inventory. Sometimes they can move it. Okay, let's do it here. So Monday, Tuesday, okay, Wednesday, it's Thursday here, okay, Wednesday is here, can you see it, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we have what, the crude oil inventory, this economy news is playing on the market right now, <laughs> all right, it's working on the mind of, so check the video that we call how to day train on Wednesday, I don't want to dwell on this, so I'll refer you to the video that we call How to Day Train on Wednesdays. Okay? Alright? So it's there. So it's playing on the mind of other traders. We want to know what's going through their mind. Okay? So we can know how to manage our trade. Okay? Alright? So I'll pause the video now. But before I pause the video again, the time in London is uh, 43 minutes past 1 uh, p.m. in New York, 43 minutes past 8 a.m. on the 11th of June 2014, posing a video, okay, this is the third time, yes or no, all right, and we'll come back to it uh, and see what's happening, okay, I'll let it run a bit, uh, but I don't want the video to be too long, so we are now talking nearly 40 minutes, it's nearly 40 minutes, so I may have to wrap it up, okay, at one point, okay, trading on the edge, Pause in the video. Okay, traders uh, just uh, sold uh, Apple stock. Uh, New York has just opened. Just sold Apple stock at nine four five five. Okay, uh, using a uh, fifty pip stop loss. Okay, so my stop loss uh, for Apple stock trade. So ninety five, ninety four, ninety five. That's it exactly here. 
All right. So this order has been filled now. This is a limit order being filled. Uh, a nine four five five, and a stop loss uh, at nine four ninety five. Okay, so let's go back again. This is just to show you what's happening here because uh, New York has just opened right here, and we have uh, this uh, surge in trading volume on this uh, three minute chart, and the price start going up. And I will explain to you in a second why I sold it now uh, at 9.455 because we sold it yesterday at 9.420. Our stop loss is taken out at 9.470. So that's why I'm selling again at 9.455. Okay. So let's go back to the, the dollar Swiss front, okay, which we sold this morning. But as you can see, the price going back up. Okay. So it went down all the way here. We paused the video here. And now it's going back up again. Uh, my entry point has turned, it was at uh, 9007. 9007. So I, I'm not going to okay close this trade yet. It's a bit risky. Why? Because of uh, the crude oil inventory. Uh, when the time is approaching uh, okay 10:30 a.m. Eastern time, that's nine. That's uh, uh, 3:30 p.m. London time. I will move my stop loss uh, at least to break even to control my risk when the crude oil inventory okay is due okay so so far since we paused the video right here it went down to this point as you can see it's still below the media line of the pitchfork tool that we have drawn uh, on the 30 minute chart so I leave it as it is now okay but for the moment, I'll go back to Apple stock, which I need to monitor carefully. All right, so sold it at 9.455. Okay, what has happened is that uh, yesterday we sold it at 9.420, stop at 9.470. That stop loss has been taken out because as the market did open today, the market was trying to retest the previous high. You will see that very often. So this was yesterday high somewhere here. Okay. All right. On the tenth of June. So the market very often will try she try to retest it. If they want to sell, they bring it up first before they will sell. They don't like to sell at this. So but there was uh, this setup at the fifty percent Fibonacci adjustment level of for uh, this uh, level here. Okay. Of the price move from here down to this level here. At the fifty percent level, the price was consolidated yesterday uh, when we sold it. But this morning, the market want to retest the previous high and before going down. And uh, again, this is an aggressive uh, sell. As I did yesterday, I was telling you that um, this was was a bit risky trade because uh, the price was still okay in the rising channel, and I was selling on the edge of uh, the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level. All right. Uh, if you watch that video that we call uh, okay how, how to use uh, how to use the trading drill okay so apple stock on the 3 minute chart sold at 9455 stop loss at 9495 okay so we let it run okay keep watching i'm still here so just keep watching
Alright, so I'm here. So this movement uh, from here all the way up here uh, was in fact unnecessary, but you see that very often. So yesterday, okay, there are people. There were people who saw it here, which I was explaining to traders uh, in a video that we call uh, how to use uh, the trading drill, okay, part one. So they, these were sellers. They sold it, so the price went down, and uh, we sold it here. Okay, so because the market was closed yesterday, market resumed today. More sellers want to sell. They don't want to sell here. Okay, they want to sell at the best place. So they push it up a bit. Now they're dropping it. Okay. All right. But you can see that uh, when the market did open straight away today, on the 11th of June, some people sold it. Okay, they sold it down. And uh, there were some buyers here. Uh, this kind of movement, that's what people call the dump money. I don't like to use that word, dump money. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like to use that word, okay? Because when I was a new trader, they were talking about dumb money. I hate it when people were using that word. <laughs> but it, this is true because uh, if these people remain in their trade for too long, they will be taken out. Okay, These are bull. some of the people who thought that they should buy Apple stock at this point in time. They shouldn't. They should sell it. All right? It doesn't matter how many times. Uh, you can see that you should sell it now. Okay? So this kind of move, they call it dumb money because they bring the price to a point where people are waiting to sell it, okay? This was happening now, okay? Let's check our, okay, dollar Swiss franc is going up. See, it's going up. Going back to my uh, stop loss, but I'm not going to change it. You see uh, a double bottom here. This is uh, a trading software detecting a chart pattern recognition software. Detecting chat pattern and playing a scalping game, high frequency traders. So they just waste your time, waste your time and doing this kind of thing. But uh, it's okay. All right. I want to keep my eyes on the Apple stock. All right, so what we will do now, we'll pause the video again because uh, we don't want it to be too long, so pause it again and we come back to it, okay? Put the vertical line there. This video is about uh, how to day trade on the edge. And uh, we were trading uh, the dollar Swiss front. Now that New York is open, okay, I place a trade also for the um, Apple stock. Okay day trading okay now you see it dollar swiss front put a vertical line there also on a three minute chart right here the turquoise line do we have a two three turquoise line now on this chart let's see yeah the first one we remove the first one here so this is where we are posing the video now, and the time in London is 21 minutes past uh, 3 p.m. That's 21 minutes past 10 a.m. In exactly nine minutes, we'll have uh, uh, the crude oil inventory. For sorry, for for that reason, I will uh, move my stop loss. Okay. So I was using uh, here 35 pips. What I will do? Let's go. And reduce my risk. Okay. Go to the hourly chart. You see. Where's my red line? That's it. It's here. That's my red line here. Um, I will use. Um, okay. I'll reduce. I'll reduce it down to twenty-five pips. Okay. Twenty-five pip. That's it. So I brought it down to 9032 because of um, the crude oil inventory. So I reduce uh, my uh, stop loss to 25 pips, okay? Because in exactly nine minutes. So we'll pause the video now. And uh, as the news is about to be released, we'll come back to it and see the reaction here. 
uh, can be volatile sometimes or can be mute for a while uh, but later on you see that the market will uh, okay acknowledge uh, the crude oil inventory okay so pause in the video now and I will come back to it soon okay traders uh, let's go to forest factory to monitor the crude oil uh, inventory this is it at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, you can see uh, this uh, green spot here. Uh, we can click on it because the timing now is uh, 29 minutes past 3 uh, p.m. in London. So it's going, it's, it's, it's coming up soon. So we go back and click on this, uh, wait for it. So the forecast was minus 0.3, all right. Compared to the previous figure, this is higher. Okay. Now here it is. All right. So if we compare the actual figure, so you see that this is minus point three, uh, minus uh, three point four millions of barrels of oil. All right. So now we the forecast was uh, minus uh, okay. Point three. Okay, minus 1.3, all right. But uh, if you look carefully here, okay. Here now we have uh, my apology for to, for this. And now we have a minus uh, point six. Okay, so comparing this uh, to the previous one, uh, the difference is not too big. Okay difference between a minus 0.6 and a minus uh, minus uh, 2.6 and minus uh, 3.4 no big uh, difference uh, we may see uh, okay we'll see how the market will react so go back again so the important thing is to know when economy news do okay that's it all right so now we go back uh, to the dollar Swiss fund Okay, still uh, hanging here. He went above the media line for a while, uh, but quickly been pushed down. Okay, as I explained to traders before, I don't want to dwell on this. So talk, if you want to know more about the crude oil inventory, you need to go to uh, watch the video that we call How to Day Trade on Wednesdays. All right, so I will not uh, go deeply into all the figures, how to use it, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to know more, you need to go to how to date toward the video that we call how to date trade on okay Wednesdays. Okay, there are other major economy news that are due late in the night, uh, relating to New Zealand dollar. So if you are trading the New Zealand dollar, okay, you need to pay attention to these economy news. It's also here at two p.m., which is two p.m. Eastern time. That's uh, seven p.m. Uh, London time federal uh, budget uh, balance okay it's here also okay moving on so that's it done okay at the end of the day one thing I need to mention to trader you want to know when the economy news do which impact you will have on the market but the most important you want to keep your eyes on the price itself and trade the price okay very important the economy news we want to Analyze the economy new, go into the mind of other traders, okay, know when the economy news do, okay, what sort of impact it may have on the market, okay, and go into the mind of the speculators. So I'll go back again to the three minute charts because now I'm on the hourly chart, okay. Three minute chart, we pause it here, so. We'll see what's going to happen now, okay? Bring back again Apple stock because uh, I need to keep eyes on Apple stock. Okay, it's back below my entry point. 
I need to remind traders that uh, my stop loss is uh, 9495, which is not uh, 50 pip, it's uh, 40 pip in this case. All right, so I'll leave it as it is. If they come uh, near, I may move it to 50 because I prefer to use 50, but so far it's at uh, 9495, which is a uh, 40 pip stop loss. Okay, all right, so not much to say now, so let's pause it again. And I will come back to it soon, okay? So I'll leave it here. And uh, we will come back to it soon. Maybe we'll see some, we'll get paid. Okay, more actions, okay? So now the news is out of the way. Uh, the market will adjust itself and then uh, reinterpret the economy news. And uh, we'll wait until London is closed. You remember the strategy for how to day trade on Wednesday? And then from there, we'll see whether the market will change direction when London is closed, all right? What we have noticed also, if they want to buy after the, 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 no, the, after the crude oil inventory, the price has a high chance to go down. If they want to sell after the crude oil inventory, there's a high chance that the price may go up first before going down, okay? So go back and watch that video, how to day trade on Wednesday, at your trio channel okay so pausing the video again so we don't want it to be too too long it's an hour now we are talking on nearly an hour now so okay so pause it. okay traders uh, let's move on as you can see we paused the video here and it was just uh, went down apple stock went down after the news went down big time um, uh, to this level of 9413 and then just uh, rotating around this level here um, move my uh, vertical line here now uh, for the dollar uh, Swiss franc the price went back up which is normal because uh, after the economy news and especially uh, the crude oil inventory uh, that's why we stopped the video we paused the video here uh, you sometimes you will see the price will do the opposite, so it will bring it up. It may continue to go up a bit, okay. If it crosses above my entry point, I may have to adjust, bring my stop loss uh, uh, to the original uh, level, okay, because I moved it down before uh, using 25 pip instead of 35 pip, okay. So it's no more this reaction. So, but I'm still in this trade. I didn't close this trade. Uh, I moved down my stop loss, 25 pips, okay, so if you go to the 10 minute chart, you will see, uh, before I post the video before, see, 9032, okay, so, it may go up more, um, a little bit more before coming down, so I'm going to let it run, so, to avoid that the video is too long, okay, alright, we're going to, pause it again and this is the dollar Swiss franc currency pair and um, the Apple stock lovely Apple stock it's still fighting this is my entry point went down I could have taken my profit here but I don't want to take profit here so leave it as it is right now so pausing the video again and uh, we will come back and see whether we're going to get paid today or not it's going a bit ups and down this is uh, a high frequency trade is bring, bringing the price up and down uh, every double bottom equal buys for these uh, high frequency traders so we have to let them play their game so that's it okay so we'll come back to it soon okay pause in the video again okay trade days uh, well, just to wrap it up now so we can see that uh, Apple stock has been uh, very very friendly now so we enter to 9455 I drop it down to 9354 that's 100 uh, pip now so it's time to close this one so I'll be coming out of this one now so 100 pip very fast and I have to tell traders that uh, sometimes uh, one has to wait for other market participants so because uh, as I explained to traders in a video that we call uh, how to use uh, the trading drill part one and uh, we were observing uh, 
you see this volume bars here so these are bias because the prior was displaying higher lows are high and uh, some of these people here came out here which I explained to traders uh, yesterday in a video that we call uh, how to use the trading drill okay so this was uh, the original setup the bearish setup but because there was a, a better resistance up here okay a better resistance up here which I also explained to traders in the same video uh, if you go to the weekly chart uh, this candle here okay so I recommend to trade it toward the video that I call uh, how to use the trading drill uh, part one okay so the first candle here you see close up here but some you see when it's better to I, I recommend to trade it to watch uh, the video that we call uh, how to use the trading deal so I won't go over this again because we have been uh, recording this video for a long time so I don't want it to be too long so and this was a key level so though the the, the berry setup uh, okay on the daily chart uh, looking at the volume bar you see the price went down for two days these days I was telling trader on Facebook to sell uh, Apple stock price went down for two days but there is a better resistance the small money want to sell at the best place so that's what we saw the yesterday but as the market reopened this morning all right uh, the market decided to readjust itself which is normal i was telling you this is a readjustment you see they bring it up so normally as i was explaining to you at the beginning of this video if you remember um the 50 percent fibonacci replacement level is a psychological price level so normally the price you see yesterday was a consolidating here should come down in a move that we call one two three but because the market closed yesterday so this morning when new york was open on the 11th of june the market has to bring it up again because more demand orders has been placed here to sell so in fact uh, it just bring it up again okay up only to dump it now Okay, normally should come down here so for somebody who is using the earlier wave normally they should discount this move because uh, it's because the market was closed if the market was not closed the price will have gone down okay straight so it will be one two three but because the market was closed and reopened this can also distort uh, okay some wave pattern uh, and uh, some price move so this is just a uh, readjustment of the market after the market opens so if the market is going to go down you will see very often it will go up first this is the move and then, then it went down okay which is beautiful so this is a great trade for the apple stock very volatile difficult for new trader to engage uh, with apple stock so be very very okay cautious if you want to trade apple stock okay it's not for children <laughs> all right now coming back to the stubborn okay this is also something normal um so i'm going to go now to the 30 minute chart for the dollar swiss franc i've been a little bit stubborn you can see that the price uh, went down today i could have uh, taken some profit but i don't want to i'm a bit stubborn you see now it went above the media line and it's hanging here uh it's approaching again my my uh entry point at a 9007 at the beginning i was using a 35 pips okay because of the crude oil inventory i move it down 25 pips so i'll leave this one run because uh, nothing is happening here it's just uh, hanging on here but what we have noticed that uh, uh, see this is uh, 12 p.m eastern time well, it's 12 p.m. is the time that's the that's 5 p.m. London time that is time that's this the time when London is closed today on the 11th of June okay so we usually watch this okay watch the video that we call how to day train on Wednesday all right so we have been talking now nearly one hour nine minutes okay recording pausing okay so that the video is not too long um let's go back to apple stock okay hope you learned something from this video because uh, it's all about uh, how to day trade on the edge 
<laughs> we were trading now. So I will remove my vertical line for upper stock because I don't need that anymore. And I will go back to the dollar, the Swiss franc. Okay. So I will stay on with this one. So we will pause it again. So we're going to focus on the forex. It's now the gap period because London is closed. This is the gap period. So it can be going on all night, even up to tomorrow. But uh, we let it run and see what's going to come out of it. But this is the gap period. We may not see any action. But uh, I will not close this train. I will let it run. But uh, we we'll give it a chance and see what's going to happen. Another hour or so. And uh, when New York is closed, I'll come back and uh, wrap it up. Okay? So I will speak to you soon. Pause in the video again. And uh, the time in London is uh, 28 minutes past 7 p.m. In New York, 28 minutes past 2 p.m. Speak to you soon. Pause in the video. Okay. Okay, traders. Uh, uh, yesterday, we stopped uh, the video here. We paused the video here. Uh, so, because uh, the dollar, Swiss front, uh, did not comply. You can see we entered the trade at 9007, placing our stop loss at 9032. And uh, since yesterday, you can see uh, we post the video here. Uh, yesterday was uh, 11 of uh, June 2014. And uh, we let this trend run overnight until London did open today. Okay, London did open today at uh, 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, that's where uh, I place the vertical line now, uh, the gray vertical line. Are you with me? Okay. Lono did open there. And as always, you can expect the price. So Lono did open here. You can expect the price to go back up again to retest uh, the previous high, which is here. You see that very often. That's what we say to traders. Uh, wait until the market is open. So if the market is open, it's where the forest market is open, and the price is likely to go down, Nine out of ten, you will see that the price will go up fast. Okay, so here, London did open here, and the price went up fast to try to retest the previous highs, and now it's coming down. So uh, we are still in this trend, and uh, uh, God knows when we are going to get paid. <laughs> All right, so we will be very very patient. Okay, this is my uh, target price for this trend. So. I'm still in this train. Uh, we will see what's going to happen. So I'm not going to stop the video. I will let it run. Let my computer on and uh, let it run. And uh, hopefully I will get paid here. All right. So one thing you need to understand when a London is open at 3 a.m. Eastern time or 8 a.m. London time. All right. You want to be very patient, and uh, you will see. You see, it takes too long for the price to reach the, to retest uh, the previous high. So we are on a 30 minute chart now, okay? Because if I go on a 3 minute chart, you won't see this uh, uh, turquoise uh, vertical line. That's why I'm using a 30 minute chart. So everything remains intact. Nothing has changed. It's still sell. Though it went above uh, this, uh, uh, okay, this. Uh, Pitchfork 2, Andrew Pitchfork 2, uh, he went above it. You have to understand that uh, we went through the gap period yesterday. Uh, London did open, did uh, uh, close, uh, where are we? Did close uh, yesterday at uh, 12 p.m. Where are we? Yeah, exactly where I put my gray vertical line. Yeah, no, no, did close here. And uh, you can see that uh, it went horizontal. That's why I say to traders, do not uh, worry too much about the Asia session because very often you see this consolidation. You see this consolidation. And now it tried to go up. But this is not a new trend, okay, because the price stuck uh, at this resistance. So there was uh, this uh, high, this high, all at the same level at our entry point at 9007. It's finding very difficult to go above 9007. But you have to understand that um, because of the decision I made by the okay the European Union uh, last Thursday, uh, they reduced the interest rate from uh, uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.15. Okay? So they devalue the euro to a certain degree. So uh, what is going through the mind of... Uh, 
forex traders is that they should buy the dollar Swiss franc and sell the euro, the euro dollar. Okay, so because of the devaluation or the reduction of uh, the interest rate by the okay ECB last Thursday, uh, most of the forex traders want to sell the euro dollar and buy uh, okay uh, the dollar Swiss franc. So those who are bad, who are who are selling okay the euro dollar will use uh, okay. Uh, some of them we use uh, the dollar Swiss franc as a hedging, so they will sell at the same time the euro dollar, and they will sell at the same time the dollar Swiss franc. On the other hand, another group of traders that are okay uh, selling uh, uh, that are okay buying the euro dollar will also use uh, the dollar Swiss franc. They will also buy the euro. Let me say this again: traders that are okay buying the euro dollar may use also the dollar Swiss franc okay as a hedging so they will buy the euro dollar and at the same time buy okay the dollar Swiss franc this is a hedging uh, activity this is no okay the second trade is protecting uh, the first trade okay I hope you understand um, what I'm trying to explain here about the hedging activity so we will not change anything though um, uh, the common okay market reaction is uh, to buy the dollar Swiss franc and to sell the euro dollar. We are not trading economy news. We are aware of the economy news. We understand the economy news. But if we want to buy or sell, we must take a direct signal from the price itself. Right now, looking at the price itself, you see, in fact, it's consolidating on this 30-minute uh, chart. Okay, so nothing has changed. My sell position is still good. I can, yesterday it went down all the way here. I could have closed my trade. I don't want to close it. So you can see that the risk that I took, the price went back up to my entry point. So I give up the profit that I earned first time. And I'm still in this trade. It's a bit risky, but I'll let it run because uh, I'll stick to my decision, okay? And you will face this decision sometime where you will decide whether you want to remain in the trade or close the trade. So one thing one can do, after London is closed, one can decide to close the trade and say this trade is not going anywhere. So you may decide to close it, okay? Close it somewhere here with a very tiny profit, okay? Go away and wait for London to open and then uh, take another position, which is right here. You'll take another position today. But I did not close this trade yesterday. I remain the trade, which is highly risky because sometimes during the Asia session, we may have some major economy news that can change the dynamics of the market. So, but I was lucky here. And uh, I was, I, I, they didn't take me out of this trade, and I'm still in place. And the trade that I took since yesterday, okay, I'm still in this trade, and uh, okay, waiting for okay my uh, reward right here at eight nine fifty seven. Okay, as I said to you before, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell uh, any uh, financial instrument. Because I put uh, the pitchfork tool on this chart, one thing we can do. Because the pitchfork tool is a kind of a channel, you see, it's a channel. We can project that uh, channel, the channel here. See the, okay, this channel here. We will project it equal size uh, to the other side, and uh, draw another channel there. Are you with me? Okay. The projection of the channel will set a target. So you can see if you project this uh, channel, the pitchfork tool channel, the bigger channel here. To the other side, we have another channel here, okay? And the professional know that. So you see, as it goes above it, look where it stops, on the top of the second projection, okay? On the, it stops at the top of uh, the second channel. So this is uh, normal, you can see that. I can sell again here, but I don't want to sell again because uh, this trade is, is, has been uh, too long, so I don't want to take another position here. But if I did close my trade yesterday after London did close, I may take another position again here by selling again on the edge. Remember, this is about how to day trade on the edge. As a day trader, you don't want to come into the market in the middle anywhere, anyhow. You want to trade on the edge, okay, where you have a low risk, okay, taking value signal on the edge of a trade line, a channel also. Okay, so I will let it run, okay, because I want really to see this, and uh, hopefully you learn something from it, okay, and uh, to improve, okay, your day trading. We were talking about uh, how to day trade on the edge. So let it run, but before, okay, 
I post the video again <laughs> for hundred times. All right, it has been uh, a long time since we had been recording this video. So as you can see, we were talking now since uh, one hour nineteen because I was posing the video. Otherwise, it will be longer than this. So you see why I have to pause the video. So I will pause it again. But before I pause it, okay, I will go to the uh, five minute chart. Okay. All right. So. And we will pause it here again and let it run. And um, I'll just leave the computer on and let it run. And then if I get paid, I'll come and wrap it up. And uh, that will be the end of uh, this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will speak to you uh, very soon. Okay. Thank you for watching. Pause in the video. Okay. Before we go, the time in London is uh, 23 minutes past 12 p.m. In New York, 7.23 okay, a.m on the 12th of June 2014 so pause in the video okay okay traders so what's happening here uh, today we pause uh, the video here and um, I was telling you that uh, there was another opportunity to sell uh, uh, the dollar Swiss from as you can see uh, uh, the whole day he just uh, after London did open here and it just went up a bit to retest the previous high and uh, just continue to move to the downside nicely but uh, my my uh, target is not yet hit so I'm still in this trend as you can see it's a midnight uh, zero 01 uh, in London that's uh, uh, 1901 or 701 in New York on Thursday the 13th of June uh, 2014 uh, I will let this run again. So this is the longest video we I have ever uh, recorded. Uh, it's taking nearly three days now uh, before we enter the trade uh, yesterday, on the 12th of uh, okay, uh, June 2014, and uh, the price did not go anywhere. So it went down first, uh, and then uh, just uh, again uh, okay, went back up to my uh, entry point, and today it went down. So my target is still down here. As I told you, I will not close this train and I will let it run. And uh, if my target is hit, and I will wrap it up. So I will pause it again until my target is hit. So it's going to take a bit of time uh, before my target is hit. As you can see, I can uh, move my stop loss now, okay, to the break even. But I don't want to do that because I want to remain in the trade for long. So I will leave it as it is where my stop loss is at 9032 and uh, expecting a price to hit this level of 8957. Okay, so it's working beautifully, but it has taken a bit of time. Some of the trade will be a bit late because of what's going on in the market. Today also is uh, uh, the first day of the World Cup in Brazil, so a lot of traders are enjoying themselves. So the market uh, okay, is not uh, moving as suppo it's supposed to. So we let it, we give it a chance okay, uh, to do what he wants to do. Okay, So pause in the video again. So before we go, I'll move uh, my... Uh, uh, okay. A vertical line, which you call vertical line, to where uh, I'm posing it now, okay, and uh, w when my target is hit, I will come back uh, and wrap it up, okay, so posing the video, okay, today is uh, Thursday, the 13th of June, okay, the time in London is now 3 minutes past midnight, in New York, uh, 3 minutes past 7 uh, p.m., so I will speak to you, okay, when my target uh, is hit, okay, Hope you learned something from this video. Okay, this is the most important thing. Okay, so pause in the video again, uh, and uh, we will see what's going to happen. All right. Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, just to keep you updated about uh, my trade. Uh, yesterday night, uh, we paused the video here, as you can see, right here, and uh, the, during the Asia session. Uh, you see, this is what I say to traders that uh, if you trade for ice uh, and you spend too much time uh, during the Asia session, uh, there is no much going on. Uh, I've done it for years and um, I lost a lot of money. And when I was uh, trading the Asia session, and a, tr a lot of forex traders are trading the Asia session and they are tired and they are frustrated and they give their money away every time. And uh, it's all the time like this, no much here. And um, this is it. I mean, it's better to trade uh, 
the London session or the New York session, okay? If uh, you are trading uh, the Asia session, uh, pay attention to this kind of activity, okay? That's it. But uh, just want to have to update you about uh, this trade that we took uh, uh, since, uh, okay, uh, the 11th, in fact, was 11. I was saying yesterday that uh, it's the 12th, it's not 12th. We took the trade here, okay, in the, uh, in the le at 11, uh, on the 11th of June, 2014. And uh, yesterday was uh, the 12th of June, and uh, today is the 13th of June, okay? Uh, so, the time in London now is 28 minutes past 8 uh, a.m., so London will open at 8 a.m. London time. So it's 28 minutes so far since London is open. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, the first reaction, the price went down and um, some people took profit. These are smart traders. They took profit before London opened, okay, because they don't want to give away their profit. So after that, uh, now we have this. But what I'm doing here, uh, in New York, is at 3.28 a.m. So what I'm doing here... Uh, as I said to you, I don't want to close this trade now. I want the price to come and hit my target, okay? Uh, because uh, the reason is that uh, a lot of uh, forex traders, um, uh, they behave like uh, a group. So uh, whenever there is um, a major decisions that are made uh, by either the ECB or the, the European Central Bank or the Federal Reserve, the people will jump into the market. A lot of speculators will come and do whatever they like to do. And also another thing I need to mention, um, there are some uh, investigation going on in the forest market because uh, somebody finally has realized that the forest market is rigged, is manipulated. Uh, when I started uh, trading forest first, people told me that the forest market is too big, that no one can manipulate the market. I laugh. I laugh loudly because <laughs> when you see human being, human being, if they can manipulate anything, they will try to do that. So I laugh loudly because uh, the person, uh, people believe that so say the forest market cannot be manipulated. But now they find out that uh, the big banks, okay, are manipulating the forest market. And this investigation is going on right now in London. Uh, I hope uh, they will come into the bottom of it. Uh, in 2010, I recorded a lot of video when I was pointing to traders that uh, there are a lot of distortions, okay, or exaggeration or manipulation taking place in the market, because the price does not hide it. The forest market is highly manipulated, and um, if you are not aware of it, okay, you will be screwed up, big time. All right, you they will be taking your money all the time. Okay, so. Uh, now finally somebody found out that some of the traders that are trading for the big institution are manipulating the forest market. So this is nothing new. A, a lot of forest traders know that. that is, the smart forest traders know that. That there are some <laughs> people manipulating the market. Okay? Because when somebody is losing, somebody else, okay, is winning. And uh, if, if, you are, if you are taking profit, somebody is paying you. So... This thing is going on, so to a certain degree, uh, we don't know, okay, uh, the implication, but for sure, the price told us years ago that the forest market has been manipulated big time. Because when I start trading forest first, uh, the price moved fluently. I noticed that it was fluent move, very, very fast, people will be reordered, but then suddenly something has changed. And you become, one thing that has changed, I can mention to traders now, is that um, um, uh, during the a financial crisis, uh, okay, uh, due to the real estate in the United States, um, a lot of uh, market participants, big market participants, went out of business. A lot of hedge funds were bankrupted, okay, because of the 2008 uh, a bearish season because all a lot of uh, these people were doing they were just buying holes and uh, they couldn't see that the market is about to change direction these are eternal bulls uh, they don't understand the market the market cycle that a market cycle there are bearish part of the market market cycle the market does not go up forever so if you're going to buy a hole you must know when to buy a hole there are seasons where one should sow there are seasons where one must uh, reap 
there is a harvest time. And uh, people think that uh, when the bearish season comes, it's something evil, something very bad, that the market should be kept up. Program has been developed to keep the market up all the time. It's a madness. Completely madness. Completely madness. Uh, I don't know where these people get this idea from. The market will go up, okay, and come down, and the, back, and the, the financial instrument become cheap, and people uh, will buy again, and a new cycle begins again, and it's just uh, something natural. The market refreshing itself. Suppose you are only breathing out all the time. You don't breathe in. Or suppose you are breathing in all the time. You don't breathe out. It works both ways. You breathe in, and you breathe out. The same thing the market needs to do, breathe in, breathe out. You see here, it went up from here all the way up here. But it didn't go to, 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 up here. Okay? So it, it's going up, but you see, it come down. This is, okay, breathe out. Now, you breathe in, and then breathe in, breathe out. Okay? Breathe in, and breathe out. That's how the market moves. Uh, that's what I say to trade. When you see the price go like this, pa, 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 up, push up, it's a distortion. It doesn't go up like this. The natural progression of the market, one thing, it's a market stable, it's diagonal. Okay? That's why I say to traders, we talk about it, diagonal move, vertical move, the price will come back down to the opposite diagonal. <laughs> it just, it, we, this is how we are, this is the nature of human being, the, all this you see here, these are human beings, okay? That's how human being behaves. So, uh, so the market, uh, now the final day has been uh, distorted. All right, so what created the market crash? The governments are afraid of market crash. Okay, everybody's afraid of the market crash. But what creates the market crash? The market crash, okay, are due to the fact that there are too much accumulation of distortions over time, exaggeration, overvalue, and then suddenly the thing, thing couldn't cope anymore, and it's like a boom, everything collapsed. But we can avoid that, okay? Which means when it's going up, allow it to come down. When it's due to come down, don't don't stop it. Don't stop it. Let it flow, come to readjust itself, and then it will go up again. It will go up again. It will go up again. But we are usually take slave. People want to buy all the time. There are some people in this market, they don't know how to sell, and all they want to do is to buy all the time. So whenever the market goes down for a week, you see it all over in the paper, people talking about uh, it's like the, it's the end of the world. But sometimes when the market goes down like this, the small money is busy buying. <laughs> the people who understand the market cycle. I recommend to traders to go to www.24aliotwave.com or anywhere else to learn about the Elliot Wave cycles. Know about the Elliot Wave cycle. Market is all about cycle. Human beings is all about cycle. Okay? Every in this uh, physical universe is about cycles. There's nothing that goes up forever in this universe, that's uh, for sure. So, so finally they, they're doing a bit of uh, investigation about uh, the forest market manipulation. Uh, thanks God for that. I hope uh, they will deal with it properly and, um, uh, and do, I mean, maybe the market will, re, uh, will we get back to normal, <laughs> be free, okay, <laughs> and become a normal because uh, when the market distorted, okay, it created a lot of losses to people. So market distorted people, especially those who are, do not understand the market, can lose big money. And because the market distorted, they come and buy at the wrong time or they come and sell at the wrong time. And if they don't know what is a distortion, when a market distortion distorted, they can be in a huge okay mess. Uh, so this was going on all the time. So recently, which means last Thursday, in fact, the ECB, ECB is the European Central Bank, uh, has cut interest rates from uh, okay. 0 0.5 to 0 0.15. What that means is that it's like uh, devaluing the euro. Now, <laughs> you have to understand that uh, I talk about this, uh, uh, especially in 2011, I was busy talking about this. I said to traders that are following us that the biggest economy in the world, which is the U.S. economy, has, uh, okay, dev is devaluing, okay, the dollar. So, for us that understand what is a fractal pattern, that the market is fractal, the market is global, I say to trade that there is a high chance that 
the European Central Bank will also cut interest rates and will also uh, start doing quantitative easing. So the whole thing starts in Japan. Japan went to recession, and then uh, uh, United States went to recession. Great Britain went to the recession. So what was happening? United States and and uh, United Kingdom were okay cutting interest rates, devaluing the dollar, and in London they were devaluing the pound. So and they were also uh, printing money, which is quantitative easing. So this was going on, okay, from from 2009, 2010, 2011, uh, before they start scaling it back now. And the European Bank was not doing much until the problem started showing up in Greece, in Spain, in all the other, okay, peripheric uh, European countries, and then they start uh, uh, pumping money into the market. But it was too late. In fact, in 2010, Mr. Trichet, Monsieur Trichet, which is a Frenchman, and uh, was, uh, okay, the head of the ECB. During that time when the, uh, the Americans and the British were uh, devaluing their currency, Mr. Trichet was putting the interest rates up. I was uh, shouting here that I was wrong, that uh, in normal conditions, if you see your brother's house burning, you should start uh, taking out your fire extinguisher or try to strengthen, okay, your fire alarm uh, doing something about your building. But Mr. Trichet was putting interest rates up was a wrong decision, completely wrong decisions, wrong decision. In normal condition, when a country is suffering, like we see now, the same thing, the, the, the Chinese were a little bit smarter because they start uh, pumping money into the economy because they know that uh, it's going to come home. This is the nature of the market. The market is fractal, okay? A pattern that is... Uh, happening in one country is likely to be copied and duplicated into another country, especially if it's a, a huge country like the United States, Japan. Uh, now we have a negative uh, interest rate. Uh, for, for, for Go and read about it on the Google, what is the negative uh, interest rate, the implications. So the European now they have a negative interest rate, which means the bank will pay people, will, will be losing money if people put money into their saving account. The bank is forced now to lend money to the public. So this is the implication of the negative, which uh, they have in Japan before. So you see now, as I'm talking to you now, the price uh, being nice, coming near my uh, target, hopefully. By the time I finish with my blah, 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 <laughs> it will hit, uh, okay, my uh, green line here. This is my target. This trend has been long since uh, the 11th of June. Okay, so sometimes you'll have that situation which is normal, my stop loss was here, couldn't come near it. So the point I want to make to traders, so as the ECB has uh, cut interest rate, the general, remember, remember this carefully, pay attention, all right? Don't, don't get, what, that's what, this is what I said to you, a lot of things are changing this uh, forest market or the stock market, whether it's stock market or currency market, it's the one market, okay? Remember, it's one market because the market is global. Sometimes people say to me, George, I trade only commodity. I don't want to know about forest. George, I trade only forest. I don't want to know about stock. George, I trade only crude oil. I don't want to know about the stock market. But the professional, they don't think that way. <laughs> it's one market, okay? What's happening in the commodity market, the forest market, will it have implication on other, other markets? It's one market. If you get that into your head today, or you pay attention to that, you will be making smart decisions. It's one market. It's a global market. Right. But people will say, oh, it's the economy in, uh, in uh, India that is having problems. Nothing to do with uh, the, the other part of the world. But who are putting money there? It's the same people. All right? So you can be in London, invest in India. You can be a bank. All the banks are involved everywhere in the world. In Africa, in Australia, in Europe, in the United States, in Asia. The same banks in the world are investing around the world. So when there is a problem in another country, people say, Guys, it's not uh, in London, so we are okay. No. <laughs> Somebody has to pay for it. If you hear that uh, the bank lost a lot of money in India, uh, be ready that uh, they will charge you here in London or in America, okay, some money to recover it. Somebody has to pay for it. So the point I want to make again <laughs> uh, is that uh, I'm a bit excited because, uh, all right, you can see that the market just opened now. So... It's good to share this information with you. That's not my strong point, though. I'm more technical trader, so but sometimes I like to do this kind of blah blah blah. 
I hope you like it. If you like it, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, okay, give us the thumbs down. But if you have any comment, we like to know, all right? So, what is happening, okay, my friend, is that, uh, like this, last Thursday, okay, last Thursday, the ECB has uh, cut interest rate, so which is a devaluation of the euro, okay? So the general public, they went and sold the euro. So everybody, most of the uh, forest traders, they believe that they should sell the euro. Strange thing, last weekend I was trying, to, I was thinking to to record a video about the euro USD, uh, recommending to traders to be careful not to get into that trap. But I hold it because I want to see how this week will play first before we get into that kind of fight with other market participants. So that's why I decided instead to record a video about how uh, to trade the dollar, okay, Swiss from. But this video is about uh, how to trade on the edge. And this is the beginning of the whole thing. And uh, I took my signal on the edge, uh, trading the dollar, okay, Swiss from. So, so beginning of this week, I'm bringing out this is the Euro USD, as you can see here. All right, we are the 30 minute chart. You see, it's now started going back up. Now, so a lot since last Thursday, uh, people start selling the Euro, okay? Because it's normal. They, they start selling the Euro because uh, the ECB has devalued the Euro. The first reaction, people want to sell the Euro and buy the Swiss franc. Can you believe it? So I went against them because I knew that they, they, this is the ECB is late to make their decision. But everything is already put, uh, is already uh, in the price. Why? Look at the chart of the euro. Look at, look at, uh, we go, let's let, go to the yearly chart. Okay, look at the chart. People were selling the euro, though they were busy putting the interest rate up in 2010. Look, the euro during that time didn't go up. Look, 2010, look at, it's bearish, yes? Was bearish. This one went up all the way here. People were saying the euro is going to be a. Uh, Above the pound, that uh, is that a key to join the eurozone, blah 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 blah. But look, after the problem with Greece, Spain, and Cyprus, where they took people's money from their bank account without their permission, <laughs> all right. So, all this the euro did not go up. So, the ECB now making decision that the market has already included in the price, so you can see. The, the, the euro went down, okay. It went down big time. It went, you remember this level, okay. Yeah. Receive this level one two zero zero zero. All right. We were here, so the euro went down. But now the ECB now a lot of problems start going on. Now they start cutting interest rates. This is the fractal nature of the market. What the, what has happened in that the state in Great Britain now is taking place. Okay, in the eurozone. When the problem started in the United States, they say, oh, because of uh, the credit crunch and America took too much uh, debt and the Eurozone is healthy, this has nothing to do with the Euro. People were saying that they should invest in the Euro. But it's one global market, okay? The banks that are investing in the Eurozone are investing in America, are investing in Great Britain, are investing in China, are investing in, in Japan, are investing in India, and investing in Brazil. These are banks. So there's no discrimination <laughs> in the market, but uh, this is what was happening. So the euro was going down. So it's already in the price. In my view, this year, the euro should go up. But <laughs> because the, Fed, uh, the ECB did not see what we were, we were talking about years ago, maybe they should become our subscribers and, <laughs> and learn a few things from us. Um, now they, they have to cut interest rate, and they will cut it more. They're going to cut it more, so be aware of it. They will cut it again. They will cut it again, and they will start pumping money, printing the euro. They, they will do it, like in America. Remember the market fractal. Don't, don't, don't fight that. Okay, it's a market stable data. Apart from everything else that is changing this messy market, this thing does not change. The small investor understand that. One thing I can say to traders, you see now, in uh, Brazil. Okay, in Brazil, where we are having a World Cup now, you see the economy is uh, changing. And the, when the economy starts improving, okay, there are social problems. The gap between the rich and the poor become wider. This creates social issue. And pe ordinary people will find that life becomes too difficult because things are becoming too expensive as the society is, uh, okay, developing, okay, Things become expensive, okay? So ordinary people get into trouble. So for things like uh, uh, rent, 
things like a uh, house is price, things like a land become too expensive. So this thing again, <laughs> remember, it's a it's a fractal pattern. Okay, this thing happened a year or few years ago. All right, you see in London, a few years ago, houses price average price was around hundred. Okay, thousand pound. So now house minimum in London three hundred thousand. Okay, at least uh, two hundred fifty thousand if you want to get a house. Okay, but you see it's going up. It's going up as the society is developing. Things are getting expensive. All right, so people should be uh, should be aware of it. So why sh why you how can you use that factor to to make decision? So for instance, uh, if you are in some part of the world where the land and the houses are not expensive, you should be busy buying them. If you are in a city or somewhere, you should be busy buying them because every part of the world at one point will start developing. You see, Europe was developing, America developed, now okay, India, now Brazil, and uh, you see how China went up big time. So if you are like part of the world like Africa. Some parts that are not yet developed, you should be busy buying land and houses. Yeah? Own them. Don't rent them. Own them. Okay? Own them. This is one part thing that you can do, okay, for investment purposes. Land. People need land. People need space. In this physical universe, we talk about the space, the time, okay? Yeah? And the matter. Okay? The matter. But the space is very important. So you cannot put matter in a void. You have to put in a space. You have to do something, you need space. You, the time you are doing something, you need to be somewhere. So the space is very important. So the land price will get expensive, expensive, expenses, and the house is expensive. It's going up. Especially, you see Brazil, this is the beginning, you get more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. People will be moving out of the land. So what people should do if you're in Brazil, is to come out of the expensive areas, okay, and go to the cheapest area and buy there. Don't stay where it's, don't buy expensive, buy cheap. If you're in India or New Zealand or Malaysia and you find it's too expensive in the city, go in the surrounding area. As the city is expanding, it may take up every 20 years, you see that the city will move big again, will become bigger, things will become more expensive. Every 20 years, you should get that. It's a cycle every 20 years. All right, every 20 years, every 20 years. Things will become expensive unless there's another source, all right? Like we see now for electricity, we have a solar system where people can have electricity from the solar. So electricity price will be getting cheaper because there is another source. Unless there's no other source for the land and for the property, there's no other source. It's one earth. So it's getting bigger, expanding, getting more and more and more expensive, all right? And we see for electricity, as the Barclays Bank has the uh, downgrade the electricity sector recently because, okay, we have new source of electricity, all right? So the point I want you to understand in this uh, video or in my blah, 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 okay? So people decided to buy the, uh, to sell the euro because, okay, the ECB has cut interest rate, but the smart market participant has already priced that into the euro years ago in fact in 2012 already they know those who understand the fractal were busy selling the yo though they were putting the interest rate up and then everything starts showing up that greece is in a mess okay cyprus was in a mess spain was in a mess uh ireland was in a mess and they were running like a, a chicken because they don't understand okay the fractal pattern okay so now as they devalue they, they cut the interest rate recently everybody grandmother, children, everybody want to sell the yo. I'm not saying to you to go and buy the yo, but all I'm saying to you, if you receive excellent opportunity to buy, buy it carefully, all right? Buy it carefully. But I will be recording a video about this, blah, 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 about the yo also, all right? So buy it carefully. So the challenge that I, what I've done uh, this week, uh, I made a decision to, to start traders, okay, to give priority to sell signal, for uh, for the uh, donor Swiss fund. Be why? Because in normal condition, people are busy selling the yo. So they, they will, when people are selling the yo, in normal condition, people should be buying the dollar Swiss franc, okay? But because I knew that uh, it was already priced in the euro USD, I look at uh, the chart of uh, the dollar Swiss franc, and I go ahead and I posted that video on YouTube to tell our traders, okay, in fact, to sell Okay, to, to give priority to sell signal for the, the dollar Swiss franc. Though, 
in the short term, in the medium term, it was a little bit bullish. But I say to them, watch it, all right, and uh, sell it. And this is also one of the reasons why, okay, um, I don't want to close my trade uh, before uh, uh, the price hit my target, okay, before the price hit my target, okay. I'm looking for the hell it is. It's, it's approaching my target, okay. So, so you see now. So people are selling the yo, and uh, in normal condition, people should be buying the dollar Swiss from. But that's not the case. Why? Because when you look at the chart, this is why you need to understand, okay. We are not trading the economy news. We are using the economy news to make decisions. This what this. There is a difference. So very often people are trading the economy news. No, that's not the best way. We must use the economy news to trade. What we are trading, what, what are we trading? We are trading the price. But sometimes traders are easily manipulated. This is the problem. People are using okay, the news. And I'm not saying that don't pay attention to the news. I say to traders, combine the technical and the fundamental use the trading triangle this is about uh, the economy news and the fundamentals and the technicals okay but we are not trading the news we are trading the price but we must use okay our technical trading tool together with the economy news we must use the economy news this is what we want to do we try to use the economy news to understand other market participants to understand okay what is likely what they are to go into their mind, so to speak, all right, so we can make a better decision. That's the whole point, okay? That's the whole point, all right? I'm going to go now to the family chart to see because uh, I want you to see it when it hit the target because it has been too long. We can't see it on my uh, how to go back again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you see my green line? It's coming here. You see, it's coming here. My target is at a 57, the price down 64. So but I, I, I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit greedy in this one uh, because uh, <laughs> they waste my time. That's why. Yeah. So what I will do now, you see, I will move my stop loss to break even. Okay. Stop loss to the entry point. So zero risk. Okay. What I will do is to separate the, the, I'll put it a little bit above my entry point. So you can see the orange line which is my entry point. Now I move my stop loss just above it, two pips. All right? But if they're going to delay it here, okay, I may decide to take my profit now, okay? In fact, I will do it now, okay? Take my profit now, okay? It's not too bad, okay? 57, 65, okay, I should do it now, okay? So traders want to, okay, they want to sell the euro and buy uh, the dollar Swiss franc, all right? They try it, you see, the price went up, boom, 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 but this is just selling because if the small money want to sell, they want to sell at the best place. So if you get trapped with this move up, you see, people were stuck here. Some bull were stuck here. Some swing trader were stuck here. Why? Because they were trading the news. They didn't trade the price. Because if they were trading the price, they would, they would have noticed that they were violating the long-term market pattern. They would have seen it. You see, the trailer that I show you here, they are bearish. If you want to be bullish, it's here, somewhere up here, okay? You see, there was, a, you see the red line also? There's this, this level here, okay? All right? They, 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 were, they were, in fact, uh, challenging the price. There's a resistance there, and uh, they, they are not trading. They were just trading the news. They get sucked into the news, okay? So, you, instead of using the news, they were trading the news. They should trade the price. All right? So they get stuck. So that's why I always say to trade it. I never say to trade it, buy or sell. Look for opportunity to buy, okay? Priority to buy signal above, or, okay? Or priority to buy signal below, or whatever. Priority to buy signal above, priority to sell signal below. The reason is that trader may know that, okay, if the price, is like here we are, you see? If the price goes too far above this level, a key level, we shouldn't be, okay, forcing it, okay? That's why I always say to traders, priority to buy signal here, priority buy signal here, priority sell signal there, so they know what's going on. 
I want them to be able to make their own decisions, which I find is good. But in the past, what was happening, people will say, okay, buy. <laughs> people buy, and the price is doing something else. Because people are trading the news, they are trading something else, or they are trading their indicators. They are trading the RSI, they are trading the CCI, they are trading the stochastic instead of trading the price. Though we use uh, technical indicators, GSCW24, GSCW as usual, we use indicators big time. But my point is that we must use them with the market patterns, things that remain intact in this market. So enough of my blah, blah, blah. So people were buying the, uh, the, the dollar Swiss franc instead of... Uh, selling it because they were trading okay uh the the economy news instead of using okay the economy news and uh, when i look at the euro this week it's in fact to buy people should buy it's, it's to buy the euro people should should buy the euro now but the ecb has uh okay messed up uh, a lot of bulls so I stay away from the euro now because uh, uh, for a while because uh, it's too wide. Blah blah blah. Another thing I need to mention to traders: when decisions like this are made by the central bank, the, in fact the market were expecting that. Okay, they were expecting it, so it's nothing new, and uh, so they were expecting that the ECB will cut interest rate. It was all over in the paper, so which means it's price in it. If you want to buy the euro, okay, buy it smartly, okay. Take excellent, the best signal. Any signal that is a little bit dodgy, don't take it, okay. Don't take it because there are people out there who want to sell the euro. So that's why myself, I stay away from it for now, until okay, few weeks later, the market will will, will adjust itself again and start seeing that uh, okay, what's the point, blah blah blah. But if the the, the ECB, was, as I told you now, they will come back again and cut interest rate. They will keep cutting it. They, will, they haven't finished yet. That's why uh, if you are buying the euro, you need to be very careful because uh, at one point they will come back again and cut it. Be, why, how do I know? It happened in the United States. It happened in London. The market is fractal. The market is global. It will happen again in the eurozone. And the, and the people know. They, they smell money know it. But if you get into this trouble, okay, but the at the end of the day, okay, so you watch a video like this, don't trade a video, okay, don't take my word for it, keep your eyes wide open, trade the price, you are about to buy, it's your money, you are about to sell, it's your money, okay, do you accept the risk reward ratio, okay, do you check the time of the day, all right, did you check the economy news, did you check the fundamentals, okay, what I'm saying here is, is true for stock, it's true for commodity. All right. Make your own decisions. Know exactly what you are doing. All right. All I'm doing here is to give traders guidelines that they can follow to make better decisions. I do not trade for traders. All I do, okay, I give traders guidance. Look at showing traders the things that they need to pay attention to, the market patterns, nothing else. The market patterns and understand that one one should always use the trading triangle the market is global okay and one must use the trading triangle i don't know in, uh, in this video as you have seen i've trained the apple stock okay let's go back to it because the video is long already so i recommend to trade it to watch the full length of this video because it's very important so few you see this week i trade the the, the apple store apple computer stock and uh, there was this pattern, okay? You remember? Yeah? The volume bars that I was showing you on the daily chart. So there was this one here. Okay. All right. Okay. There was uh, these two bars here. These are bias. And part of this bias came out here. I told traders, yes or no? I was telling you in this video. And uh, when we sold Apple stock first, we were taken out of the trend. And I resell it again. And look where it is, it is now. This week, uh, we on a daily chart. It was uh, in a zone of uh, 94 something. But look, today it's 92.29. You see? It's what we are talking about. It's just there. Those, those buyers here, majority of them already came out. They, they, you see the shear, 
if you drive, okay, the fuel in your car that has started here, <laughs> it's not much the same, okay? You need to refill it, okay? Refill it again. So they came out here. But you have to understand how to read the volume bar. I posted, uh, there is a page at www.dayportrader.com. Go there and read it. Check our YouTube channel, Day Pro Traders. YouTube channel, Day Pro Traders. YouTube channels. I will be recording more video about uh, a volume indicator, volume bar. What has happened when I start trading first? I look for a lot of videos about volume. And people make it too complicated, this subject of volume bar. I spend uh, a lot of Fridays, instead of going out with my friend, uh, watching um, hundreds of YouTube videos about uh, volume bar. And it's all about blah, 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 blah. No one wants to talk about it openly. So I decided to, to, to go into this subject and to share it for free and explain to traders what is the volume bar. People say to me, John, what's wrong with you? That's your own. You know what we care about, okay? Whether you are uh, JP Morgan or whether you are Goldman Sachs or you are uh, Deutsche Bank, if you ask any honest trader, they will tell you that what they care about is another market. They can make money in another market. So the reason why we have a lot of websites, stochasticmoney.com, 248wave, dayprotrader.com, posting video on YouTube, just to your channel, 248wave channel, dayprotrader channel, okay, our Google Plus pages, okay, for Stochastic, Google Plus pages, for 248 away, Google Plus pages, for dayprotrader.com, our Facebook page, on the Twitter, educating traders, sharing information. The reason we are doing it is because what do we care about? What do we gain about it? We gain, okay? We want traders to understand the market so we can all have another market. Another trader can mess up your trade. Another market participant can make another, can make another person lose, all right? So we want everybody to understand how the market moves, those who are creating uh, stupid uh, okay, trading software to improve also their algorithm. So if they understand the market, they will create a better algorithm so we don't have to fight the high-frequency traders, all right, or start criticizing, spending our time going to review website, okay, blaming everybody else. But we want traders to understand what is happening in this uh, messy market. So this is about Apple stock. As you can see, uh, uh, it should come down more, all right? In fact, there was uh, a deviation, okay, in relation to the, okay, the short-term uh, equilibrium price level. All right, deviation, big deviation, and uh, we see all the time, unless there are more buyers, and we have uh, a new short-term equilibrium price level, there's a high chance the primary came back to the short-term equilibrium price level, and the volume has betrayed what was happening behind the scene. And if the small money want to sell, uh, they, we told traders also for Apple stock, okay, though people should sell here, okay, there was a better resistance here, which I showed traders on the weekly chart. You remember? So they will sell always at the best place. This is something that is happening all the time. You see, like that I draw, you see this bar here, they clip one, two, three bar here on the weekly chart, and they put it, they brought it exactly on the dot and they dump it. Okay? Now it's coming down. But as the price is going up, people think that it's going up. George, you are completely wrong. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up. I told you, it's not going to go up. It's all in a volume here. Okay? People are coming out. You have to know when they are in, but as the price is going down, the price does not go in straight line. People want to buy Apple stock. People say, George, you want people to sell Apple stock? It's evil. No, there's nothing wrong with Apple fundamentals, but the price needs to readjust itself, breathe in, breathe out, and then again before going up. If it doesn't breathe in and breathe out, it will blow itself, all right? <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will survive. Right? Breathe in, breathe out. And there are... Uh, Directors that spend most of the time fighting the market, why the price going down? But it, it price must breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And there are investors waiting for the price to reach some level where they will buy big time again. And uh, it's just going on all the time. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so if you get fed up with me, I want to know, put in the comment bar, all right? <laughs> okay, get it out of your chest, what you want to say about this blah 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 all right i want to know okay i want to know <laughs> so this is uh, a bit of my blah 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 so let's go back i think i'm going to wrap it up now so you can see uh it came down it's going to go down more but uh, um 
yeah it's, it went down to uh the lowest point what uh eight nine six zero so three people um, so I'll, I'll i'm out of this trade now okay i'll come out of it now okay so this is the end of this video okay we were talking more than two hours now and um, okay okay so i hope you like it so as you can see if you one thing i need to say to traders before i go you see how the price went up okay so it went up like this this is something else okay i can share it with you before we go and then it pulled back and then it went up again you see how 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 pay attention that's what i said to you keep your eyes wide open do not blink all right this is to make you laugh okay all right so it went up down 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 see how it's coming down you see sometimes you see that they probably do the the way they probably went up it will do the opposite when it's coming down you see here it come oops i moved my line okay it was a uh, 09 okay i leave it there on top there okay now so you see it went up fast okay here you see that's the first move it will do the opposite now coming down sometimes you, it's beautiful okay something else i don't i won't i won't go deeply into it but just to bring it to your attention so first move went up now it's coming down it did this okay look at this move look at this move okay this one it went a little bit up it's the opposite of this one are you with me okay so the the opposite of this one is this one okay the opposite of this one is this one so there's a high chance that we may have now you see uh tall candle coming down you see start coming down tall and uh, I, I can expect more tall candle through my entry point a little bit down to this level at least to the media line of uh, this uh, uh, pitch Andrew pitch for two on the okay 30 minute chart at least that okay so we'll expect it to come up because I'm on a 30 minute chart showing you that so that's a high shadow come but in normal condition, unless uh, there are some other, because today is what, uh, today is uh, Friday, so we need to be careful. Uh, this week, uh, so we can say that it was bearish, so some of, uh, you have to check the video that we call how today trade on Fridays. Some of the traders that were selling may decide to take profit, so we may see a little bit of bounce, okay, which is, uh, okay, readjustment. So that's why, okay, I'm coming out of this trade now, but... Uh, Today is Friday, okay? Remember, today is Friday, okay? So that's the end of this video. I hope uh, you have learned something from the video about, uh, okay, how to, okay, a day trade on the edge, okay, the, the dollar assist from. Uh, until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. We are the GSTW24 Traders. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, if you dislike it, give us give us a thumbs down. We want to know whether you don't like it. If you have any comment, okay, put it below. Any question, put it below. If you are TSTW trader, okay, you know my email, okay, send it to me. And please remember that uh, I can be sometimes very, very, very busy. So if I don't get back to you straight away, as some trader expecting me uh, to get back to them, do not worry. Okay, as always, we are friends. And I wish you the very best uh, in your trading. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy.